Hey, what's up guys? This is Brendan Faye and today we're gonna talk about something important that we wish someone would have told us when we started figure skating. Today we're gonna talk about things that beginner figure skaters should be ready for. You're gonna fall. A lot. If you're just starting figure skating, this is definitely something you need to be ready for. You're gonna trip over your toe pick, you're gonna catch some edges, you're gonna run into walls, you're gonna get run over by the hockey kids in public skating. It's just part of life. So if you're really not that into falling, figure skating might not be your type of sport. So make sure before you go doing anything crazy, sign up for those learn to skate classes and make sure you know how to fall safely so you do not get injured. You're gonna be ready with your wallet. Figure skating is not a cheap sport. Between skates, where, by the way, you pay separately for boots and blades, your classes, your private lessons, your ice time, get ready to allocate some hefty budget to doing this sport. We did a video on this channel a while ago, by the way, about how much on average it costs us to figure skate where we live in Florida, United States, and compared it to the cost of the same thing in Russia. So make sure to check it out if you wanna get an idea of approximately how much to budget for. Continue on the previous topic, not only skates are expensive, but they also don't last forever. So depending on if your foot is still growing or the intensity of your training, you might need to change more or less often. For example, in our case, the first skates that we bought, they lasted about six months until we had to change them. Something to keep in mind is the better you get and the harder the elements you do, the more stiff your skates need to be, which means the more expensive they will get. On top of that, in higher level skates, the blades are purchased separately. So if you're just starting your figure skating journey and are looking to buy your first skates, we actually have a few videos that we made that is gonna help you and we're gonna link them down in the description. Oh, description. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna link them all down in the description the rules figure skating has a lot of them there are whole books and brochures and ten thousands of them describing what you can and cannot do in different styles of figure skating some of them are really official and are governed by the usfsa in our case because we're in the united states but every country that has figure skating has their own federation who comes up with the rules on top of that, your ice ring is going to have its own rules and they differ from one ice ring to another. So when you're first coming out to your first skates, make sure they either usually have these billboards in the hallway somewhere that kind of list general rules of how they expect you to behave at the ring or just, you know, talk to the coach, talk to the staff and make sure you respect the rules of the, each particular ice ring that you skate at. Some rings are cool with you doing, for example, all sorts of stuff in the public skate session, like your jumps. spirals or your jumps or partner skating, and some ice rings are not, and that's fine. It's their rules and we need to respect them. On top of that, there is a kind of a more casual skating etiquette that you just learn over time as you progress with your skating and maybe start coming out to freestyle sessions, like do not spit, do not spit. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with it. <laughs> also don't spit on the ice. But also don't spit on the ice. Like the famously do not spin in the lots corner. You usually jump towards the corners of the rink and you spin towards the middle. Also, if you're a really beginner and you're doing your first public sessions, if you do not know how to stop on ice whenever you decide to, not the gravity, Try to stick closer to the walls and not venture out through the middle in high speeds because, you know, that doesn't always end well. Plus, now that people are virtual testing, there's always someone recording the test. So make sure you give way to people who are doing a test or are skating the program. Frustrations. Frustrations are very common and the more you progress, the more you get them. <laughs> They follow you around like a devoted dog. So the process is very long and the grind is extremely long. Sometimes we're stuck in some element for months. And it can just get overwhelming. So if we're going through this right now and you feel like it's getting too much, we also made a video called five reasons why people quit figure skating. So make sure to check it out. We're gonna put it down in the description because it might help you get through it. On the bright side though, figure skating also comes with this amazing sense of achievement that makes all the frustrations worth it 10 times. 
As we have just said before, figure skating involves a lot of grind and you kind of over time just learn to love it. But it has insane satisfaction factor because once you finally get an element you've been working on, it's very clear in figure skating. It's, you weren't able to do it and now you can. And the feeling of joy and achievement and pride you get when you finally get the element is absolutely impossible to describe with words. You just gotta feel it. It literally compares to nothing. You're also gonna discover some muscles in your body that you never really knew existed before figure skating. Especially after your first few sessions, you might go home and wake up next day being sore in the most unexpected places. So also something to prepare for. Your feet are gonna hurt. A lot. Something you might wanna know as you're starting is that skates are not the most comfortable footwear as you guys can possibly imagine. It's gonna hurt the most when you get new skates. This is just something everybody goes through. Skates are hard to break in, so your feet are gonna hurt a little bit more in the beginning. Something that is very important that you do is get properly fitted. Because skates that don't fit you well can cause all kinds of pain and all kinds of foot problems. And you're probably not gonna get as far in your skating because you're constantly gonna be preoccupied with all sorts of issues you're having. So make sure you get the skates that fit you well. But even with good skates, we can still get cramps. For example, sometimes I don't properly warm up and jump right in the class just because I'm late. So that's when I get cramps. Figure skating is a pretty solitary sport, but it also has a very tight knit community. So be ready to make lots of friends, maybe a few haters and get lots of unsolicited advice. Our figure skating journey has been very public from the very beginning, so we had to get used very fast to all sorts of everybody's opinions and comments, and while some of them can get pretty mean sometimes, luckily for us the majority are really nice and supportive and we actually got quite a lot of useful feedback from all the comments on our Instagram, on our TikTok and on this YouTube channel that we received. So, just get ready to socialize a lot and the new friendships that you make figure skating are really priceless. Lastly, get ready to get obsessed. Figure skating is very addictive, especially the moment you feel like you start achieving things. It's very easy to get addicted to it. It is a constant roller coaster of highs and lows and with all this amazing emotion that figure skating brings, it just takes your heart and it holds it forever. So these were the 10 things that beginner figure skaters should be ready for. So now we hope they were fully prepared. Make sure to like this video guys, share it with your friends if you liked it. We post videos every Friday and see you guys next video. It's very easy to get addicted to it. Ah, addicted. Addicted. Oh my god, my dog's doing stuff. What is going on? <laughs>